Hi, I'm Maxwell Orther, and this is... Uh, My name is Jin Ho Lee. And we are part of the crew that worked on our exhibit at one and a half degrees Celsius, Biofuel Lights the Future. When we first read the call for proposal, we realized quickly that the aim of this overall uh, museum exhibit really corresponded well with our research we do here at Michigan State University. And we, as our lab, is we're always looking for ways to do more outreach and to show more people kind of what we, what our research is. We just have some basic digital microscopes with different artifacts from some of the other exhibits around the museum. And what this allows um, people who come to the museum to do is they can say, oh, this is a piece of ceramic. And then this is what it looks like under the microscope. And so it allows people to say, what I see with my eyes looks different under the microscope. So then when you go into our exhibit, which is a 360 degree video where you're fully immersed inside of futuristic materials at the microscopic level, um, you, so you basically are the size of, you're basically immersed inside of that instead of hold, being able to hold this, right? And so we wanted people to experience these futuristic materials acting in a future where man and the earth coexist and it would help us gain appreciation for not only what our materials could do but what our materials do right now why did we want to do it um i thought that it would be a really interesting and satisfying way to highlight some of the research that i do using microscopes um, and kind of give a more general audience a glimpse into the world that I see every day um, and then we were also able to then use it as a platform to kind of advocate for the future that we as young people want to see um, where we are able to coexist with the earth using technologically advanced materials. This project was born out of uh, fun. Me and Haley were having uh, so much fun collaborating and we really wanted to show our work. My name is Kelsey Merrick Wagner and I'm an eco artivist. My plastic weavings were in the 1.5 degrees Celsius climate change exhibition at the MSU Museum, which was an awesome opportunity to have my work included with so many great artists working on local to global issues, showing how interconnected our ecosystems and planet are. I was able to do a weaving workshop with community participants. One of the biggest challenges was coming up with a way to build a giant loom so everyone could work on a project simultaneously and contribute. It was awesome to see so many different participants of all ages come bring their plastic bags and work together to create a piece that really emphasized the problem of plastic consumption and how to move beyond it. The most difficult thing was to bring the science to the public. Uh, we realized that uh, we are using different tones and different words. This can be sometimes hardly understood by the public. So we worked really hard to simply explain it uh, without twisting the facts and theories. So there were two main challenging components to creating the exhibit. The, the first one was actually balancing um, the scientific content with the artistic content and finding a happy medium and that was really what was beneficial about working with my partner Kakia who is a DMA student in music composition so between the two of us we were able to come up with a good balance um, and then the other challenging aspect was figuring out how to film microscope videos with high resolution and then also format them for a 360 degree movie because you can't film them in 360 like you could film this room. So it was very technically challenging on multiple levels. The biggest challenge was creating uh, the footage that we wanted to create. We did that all ourselves. We bought equipment that allowed us to take footage to a microscope and, and then we animated it 
in the way that we wanted to animate it ourselves. Uh, we learned so much through this experience because we both had to do stuff that we hadn't done before. Um, yeah, it, it was it was a great opportunity for us to learn and show our work to people.